Welcome to Blueprint of Faith. My name is Ken Primus. I am your host on this journey into the Word of God, which is also called the Word of Faith. I've been a teacher of the Word for over 30 years. I was a pastor of Abundant Grace Ministries, and now I travel the world teaching the Word of God. According to the Word, without faith, it's impossible to please God. By faith, we understand. The Bible also goes on to say that the just shall live by faith, for we walk by faith and not by sight. By faith we believe that the universe was made. We are justified by faith. Fight the good fight of faith. At this podcast, we're going to talk about what really is faith, how we get it, how do we develop it, how to use it, so that we can receive the 8,810 promises of God, 7,487 of them being promises made by God to His beloved man. Good morning and welcome to my morning rant. Morning, I wanted to just over give you guys an overview of all the things that we've talked about over the past couple of months. I uh, wanted to uh, encourage you. It's the end of the year. Uh, so I just wanted to remind you of who you are and uh, what are some of the things that are required of us since we have been translated into this new kingdom. Uh, the Bible tells us that we have been um, uh, translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. And so as children in this new kingdom, the Bible calls us that we are the children of God in John 1, 12. But as many as receive him, I give he the power uh, to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. Galatians 3, 26, for ye are all children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. And as you study the word, you'll see that not everyone is a child of God. The Bible tells us who they are, those that are born again, those that confess Jesus Christ as Savior. Those are the sons of God. Um, Galatians 4, 6, And because you are sons, God has set, sent forth his, of his Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Philippians 2, uh, 15, That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom you shine as a light in the world. And so that's who we are. We are in a, uh, the Bible says, a crooked and perverse uh, nation or world. So as children of God, uh, we have to um, behave as such. Uh, it tells us that, um, behold, now are we the sons of God. And it does not appear what we should be, know that when he appears we shall be him for we shall see him as he is and this is in reference to jesus christ uh we our bodies will be changed in a twinkling of an eye scripture says so as i mentioned to you guys we are this new creature therefore in corinthians second corinthians five seventeen. for if any man is in christ he's a new creature all things have passed away behold all things have become new so this is who we are the bible tells us that we must renew the mind our mind which is a part of our soul which was redeemed but we have to renew it uh, the spirit of the man is, is new, brand new. He is able to connect through G, to God, through Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, um, so that you and I can commune back with him. So the word tells us that we ought to renew our mind or our soul in Romans chapter 12, uh, verses 3. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Um, Ephesians also talks about that, 4.23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Uh, so we know that the mind have to be uh, restored. So let's see what Scripture says about the body. Romans 12.1, uh, I beseech you therefore, brethren, 
be by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Uh, Second Corinthians, I think it's 510 uh, that says, um, for we must all um, appear before the judgment seat in Christ that everyone may receive the thing done in his body according to that uh, he has done, whether it be good or bad. Uh, so we know that we have to present that and go before God. Ephesians, Romans 8.13, it says, For if we live after the flesh, you shall die. Uh, but if you, through the Spirit, mortify the, f- the deeds of the flesh, you shall live. If you, uh, mortify means simply to, to um, have uh, authority over it. Um, the f- 1 Corinthians six eighteen to 20 is um, a, a, a verse also that deals with how we deal with our body as Christians. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. Uh, what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? which you have of God, and you are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Uh, so we see that uh, our body, um, we how God uh, wants us to present our body as um, holy and acceptable to him. And the thing uh, as new creation tells us that we ought to seek the things of God. And we talked about that in Matthew when it tells us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and um, his righteousness and all these things we added onto us. Um, We see Colossians also talks about that. Colossians 3, 1 to 4, if you then uh, be risen with Christ, seek those things are above where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Uh, set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. For you are, for you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Christ, who is our life, shall appear. Then shall you also appear with Him in glory. Uh, we know that we are a um, our citizens. We are citizenship is of heaven. Uh, Philippians 3:20. Our citizenship is in heaven, for we also um, we eagerly wait for a uh, for our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians, Philippians or Ephesians 2:9. Sorry. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers or foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and with the household of God. Um, the Bible tells us that we are of the earth, but uh, I mean we are in the earth, but not of the earth. Um, excuse me, we are from a different kingdom. First uh, Peter two eleven puts it, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against your soul. So again, your body is warring against the soulish man and the, um, the spirit man. The Bible says that um, if we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. So we see that the flesh is at war with the spirit and with the soul of the man. Hebrews eleven thirteen. These all died in, in faith, having received the promise, but having seen them far off, we uh, persuaded um, are persuaded of them and embraced them and confess they are strangers and grims on the earth. So, as I said to you, we are in the earth, but not of the earth. We know that Jesus Christ, we are disciples of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that um, in John 8, 1. Um, Matthew tells us about the cost of this discipleship. We endure, and said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man uh, come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So we are to um, do what's necessary in order to come to God, come to Jesus, to follow him. He says, pick up your cross. Um, and uh, we know that has to do with some of the things, with all the, the deeds of the flesh and all the different things that we must um, uh under so that we can be and walk in the um, position as the sons of God. We know that Jesus Christ is our mediator, our advocate. I talked about that. 
Uh, the Bible tells us that he is our high priest in Hebrews. And it also tells us in um, First Timothy, it says that for there is one God, one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And so Jesus is the one that is before the Father presenting our case so that when we uh, call upon him, that he is there to help us. Uh, we see in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15, For we have not an high priest which cannot touch the feelings or infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. So Jesus Christ can empathize with us because he's been through some of this stuff, but he did not sin. And it says, because of that, because he didn't sin, let us therefore come boldly onto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace in the time of our need. So we see that this Jesus Christ, we can call on him as our high priest. Um, Again, I'm just trying to encourage you guys as to some of the things as to who we are, uh, overcap, uh, you know, just bringing a uh, recapping of who we are. Uh, Jesus is our mediator. Um, he, we know that he is the head of the church body at Colossians 1, 18, and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. And so Jesus is the head of this church, and as the head of the church, we go to him for direction, wisdom. The Bible tells us if we lack wisdom, we ought to ask, and God will give us give it to us liber um, liberally. So we know that um, Jesus Christ, when he came, uh, he protect, when after he died, the Bible tells us that he went to, the, to, to hell, he preached the gospel, and people were released from bondage. If you read the gospel, there were so many other people that came out of the grave after Jesus Christ came out of the grave as well. And you'll see it there uh, before he went up to, uh, to the Father. Um, we know that he said in Matthew 28, eight, um, uh, 18 to 20, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in the earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end. Amen. The end of the world. So we are, uh, Jesus has given all, uh, received all power. And then he, in 19 verse 19, he delegated those power to us. And so um, Colossians 4, 2, 15 puts it this way, having disarmed the palities and powers, he made a public school of them triumphing over them in it. Um, we know that, uh, as I mentioned to you guys, if Lucifer knew that the plan of God, uh, the reconciliation plan God had put in place, he would have never touched Jesus Christ. And I'm sure he would have tortured anyone who would have done the same. Hebrews 2.14, or as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also likewise took part of the same through death. He might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. So all of his stuff has been ripped off from him that he took from Adam. Jesus is just taking it all back. First Peter 3.22 is gone into heaven and is on the, uh, on the right hand of God, uh, angels, authorities, and power being made subjected unto him. It is Jesus Christ um, who has all authority. So the Bible tells us that he de delegated it. I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in the heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in the heavens. So this is the authority that God has given to you and I that um, we can utilize to gain our victory. He has given us certain things that we can utilize in. He has given us his blood. He's given us his name. Um, yeah, we can use his name to baptize, anoint people. We can pray in his name. Uh, we can cast out devils in his name. Um, so these are all the things that we can do in the name of Jesus Christ. 
talked about some of the blessings that we got and receive in Christ. I spend a lot of time studying those things. Um, God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Him. Uh, so you and I have obtained much, and we are heading into a new year. And so I wanted to just um, give you a brief recap of some of the things that we have studied over the last couple of months um, in different aspects. We studied the enemies of our faith. We studied all kinds of stuff. We studied about the kingdom of darkness. We studied about the kingdom of God and being citizens of either kingdom. We talked about that we are born into the kingdom of the darkness. We are also born into the kingdom of God. Uh, we talked about the principles that um, uh, rule each kingdom. It tells us that the flesh uh, rules the kingdom and the senses, the natural senses, rule the kingdom of darkness. It tells us that um, we, uh, uh, the spirit of God, the, the spirit rules the kingdom of God. We, if you live walk by the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We know that the spirit man uh, wars against the flesh. We read about the soulish man warring against the flesh. So this flesh is the enemy of both. So we have to learn, the Bible says, to um, take uh, control over the flesh. And we can do that by walking in the Spirit. Um, we got one more day, I think, for New Year's. And I want to wish all you guys just a happy holidays, man. Enjoy it. Remember that the just shall live by faith. And we walk by faith, not by sight. Thank you for coming to Blueprint of Faith. And remember... Every child of God overcomes the world, for our faith is the victorious power that triumphs over the world. So be not weary, but imitate them who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God. Again, thank you for coming by. Please subscribe, and if you can, support us financially. We deeply appreciate it. You can do this by hitting the heart button. Until next time, invite your family, friends, neighbors, church, study group, and even people you don't like. You can hear us on Buzzsprout, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Overcast, and many more.